Oh, it's okay, little sheepy. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna itch your tickle your ears. You're gonna be so blessed, little baby. Bah! Sheepy sheep. Guys, I haven't lost my mind. But there's coming a time where sugarcoating the gospel will not lead to tooth decay, but truth decay. There's coming an hour of the tickling of the ears. This, I don't want you to be paranoid. Is everyone not of the Lord? Look out and be behind a bush. Are they of the devil? Are they? Come on, guys. There's many, many great voices, men and women all throughout the earth that are preaching the uncompromised gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just want you to be careful of this. Do we want to stay bound or do we want to get free? A friend will always tell you the truth, but an enemy will kiss you on the cheek. It's okay, little sheep. And there are leaders, unfortunately, in some of the pulpits, not all, all across the world that are tickling people's ears. And the people want to hear what they're saying and are enabling and allowing this. Because let me just say this, the grace of God is the enabling power that keeps us on from sin. And God forbid if we do fall into it, we do have the new covenant right from the blood that Jesus shed to repent. But the Bible's clear. Do not turn the grace of God into licentiousness was something filthy so we cannot allow a seduction or a seducing spirit to come into the land that if anyone's living a life that's completely contrary to the word of god that would seduce them and allow them to continue and drag their soul to hell come on we got to get some real preaching of some real truth in this hour you know, sin will keep you a lot. It'll invite you. And once you get invited, it'll keep you a lot longer than you want to stay. It doesn't mean you can't get out of it. Doesn't mean we don't have the grace of God. Doesn't mean we can't repent. The prodigal son came home to the father's house. I've preached many times on the prodigal son and the religious spirit that came on the elder brother now. Before I continue, be an honor. If you're new, please subscribe. I'm also live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern New York, prophesying, preaching, praying. The shows are about an hour. I've always said, therefore, there is now no more condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. I just want you to be careful of the sugar-coated gospel that'll lead to truth decay, that'll itch your ears. And in 2 Timothy, it says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. I've said this before. Grace without truth is chaos. Truth without grace is the law. I had some dude on the phone, wanted counseling, and I told him, this is what you need to do. You need to get this out of your life. You need to get that out. No, no, no. People don't want to. They, now, he wanted to. Oh, this is okay. This is no problem. Hey, listen. We cannot adhere to stubborn and rebellious demon spirits and get free or stay free. We'll be bound. And the truth is, my admonishment to this brother was, do you want to stay bound or do you want to get free? Hallelujah. Now, let me continue. 2 Timothy 4, verse 3, the time will come. They will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. Hey, I did a show. We're not called to peddle these nonsensical conspiracy theories and bring them into the Christian camp. We're called to make warriors and disciples. Listening to one of the young ministers on YouTube and 
man, I'm going to be honest, guys. This guy built a big platform off the whole Trump thing. Trump's going to win. God show me Trump's going to win. He's still saying Trump's going to be president again. It could happen. I don't know. I'm not judging the word. It'll judge itself in a few months, trust me. But all these people that listen to this, there's no scripture. There's no word. There's no validation of the word in anything. In any of the videos, this man ministers, and I'm trying to help you out here, trying to tell you something, because the smooth words, this smooth, van, you know, it's sort of like a salesman, but there's no word, there's no weight, there's no impartation, there's no anointing. I can sense and discern, I've learned to tweak and train my ear to detect the anointing. If someone's anointed, I can hear it in their voice print. If they're babbling vain nonsense and they're a salesperson and there's no anointing, there's no weight, there's no word, there's no scripture, there's no Bible, there's no foundation of the word. And I'm, I gave it a chance. I listened to it today. So I want to give it a chance. I want to be nice. I want to be kind. Six minutes goes by in the, in the, in the show. No scripture, no word, no validation. I could come on here and do a show and do five to eight scriptures. It would take 15, 20 minutes. People wouldn't listen and watch if the shows were that long. They don't have the aptitude and the patience and the strength. And I understand we're all busy, yada, yada. So I'm just throwing a warning out there. Sugarcoating the gospel doesn't lead to tooth decay. We don't go to the dentist. We go... We would have to go to the truth decay dentist, the Holy Ghost, to get some damage to our teeth because we're listening to sugar-coated nonsense. Hey, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.